Hey y'all, yet another morning. We are starting off a vlog with Emily and me. This morning, we are going to the local radio station, Cat Country, and we get to meet and see Russell Dickerson perform. I'll insert in a couple of clips and if we get to meet him. And so, that's how we're starting off our morning. Let's go inside and I will show you what we're up to. Bloop, 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 bloop. excited to welcome Russell Dickerson. Yeah! <laughs> this song is called Blue Tacoma. We were rolling on an old Toyota twist. If heaven is anywhere, it's in a blue Tacoma, California. White magnolia in your head. Rays of gold are shining on. Came to life when I first kissed you. The best me had his arms around you. You make me better than I was before. Thank God I'm yours. So I had the chance to come and meet Russell Dickerson. Oh wait, this isn't in focus. Hold on. I'm just gonna wait, pop in the background. There, there we are. Okay. So I had the chance to meet Russell Dickerson. Look how tall he is. I can't even hold it normally. But <laughs> he has some really awesome songs on the radio right now. And we're here at Cat Country. And I thought right I'd get him to come say hi real quick. Say hello. Hello, everybody. Yeah. So. We should do a duet. <laughs> we should do it. <laughs> but I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time. Got him getting you. my YouTube video. Thank you for taking the time to make a YouTube video with me and <laughs> oh. us in it. Too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, that little concert was so awesome and Russell Dickerson was super nice. He sounded so good and it was really funny. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what was really funny. It was really funny. I don't know what was, but it was funny. <laughs> it's now noon. We're gonna head back home and get the rest of our day started. So it is a little while later. It's about 1.20. I have not had any food today. I have not had any coffee. Like, who am I? But my friend's house is getting some work done and we're kind of a little busy this morning. So I ran down to Scenic 90 Cafe, which is down the road in Pensacola and picked up an omelet for my first meal. Ignore the bacon and potato, not the bacon, the biscuit and potatoes. This came as a meal and my friend's mom said just go ahead and get them and they will eat them as their sides. So I got the meat lover's omelet in here. There's some ham and bacon, I don't think you can see it. Ham and bacon and cheese and I don't know. And then I got four extra slices of bacon because I needed some extra bacon because who doesn't love bacon? But yeah, I'm gonna have that big old omelet for breakfast. I just picked up a little bottle of Pellegrino water so I can make my oh so favorite sparkling water with lime juice and a little stevia to make my keto limeade. I'm headed home because I am about ready to gnaw my arm off. Gotta go get some food, eat my omelet, and be a happy old gal. TJ Maxx, I picked up this 
sugar-free torrent torrent torani oh, no. <laughs> i can't say it and i have the hiccups but it's in the salted caramel flavor for my coffee every once in a while as a little treat I've also been wearing one of these little neoprene slimmer belts to help me sweat more every day when we've been out at Emily's barn. And Emily's gonna show you the last thing we bought. This is the best part of our <laughs> trip. It's an inflatable hot dog. Um, yeah, so we <gasps> bought- <laughs> We're super pumped. We bought an inflatable hot dog because how can you not pass by an inflatable hot dog and not buy it? I mean- Like, look at it! sit on it <laughs> to go along with our inflatable unicorns unicorns and hot dogs what more could girls want <laughs> <laughs> on Thursday our friend who's an upcoming country artist Ryan Dyer her shirt <laughs> we wore it we're actually getting rhinestones to bling out these shirts that we have so she wore it so we could like measure but we're going to the concert so we can be number one fans and so we're rhinestoning our shirts because obviously, we have to bling why not? Everything. We have to bling it all. You gotta bling and shine like a diamond, y'all. Shine like a diamond. It's about five o'clock now, and me and Emily just got back from running errands. For some reason, we all feel like we were hit by a bus. So as you can see, I just made me a cup of coffee. I accidentally got a little bit heavy handed on the heavy cream. I'd say I accidentally poured in about two servings of heavy cream, but I'm not really that concerned about it. All I've had today is that omelet and we'll probably be at the barn until at least 10 o'clock tonight. So one more meal and I will be done for the day. In this coffee, it was just coffee, dark roast coffee, which is not my favorite, but that's all we had. Some heavy cream and some stevia. That's how I like my coffee all the time. I do bulletproof coffee. You've seen me do bulletproof coffee from time to time. But lately I have been nixing it because I much prefer to take in my fat from whole sources rather than just oils. Such as like bacon or like a fatty steak or putting butter on my steak. <laughs> But I have not been doing bulletproof coffee. I have not actually been tracking and weighing my food while I've been here. But I do feel like I have made some progress or at least I am feeling better. My stomach issues are slowly subsiding, kind of. But I am feeling better, which is a good thing. So... Went on a little bit of a tangent there, but I am drinking my coffee, about to throw on my jeans and boots, and we're going to the barn. The Polaris that we usually ride on, it's getting serviced. So we're hauling the hay out by hand, you know, getting that extra work out in. <laughs> we're doing curls on the way, you know. Gotta get them biceps. Sacrificing it. Yeah, you do. Sacrificial kitten. <laughs> stretch <laughs> it is now about 10 30 we just got home from the barn we didn't really do much except do our chores do our work and just get in and out of the barn however this gal is freaking starving 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 marvin <laughs> So I'm about to go fix my last meal of the day. Going to go scrounge around in the fridge, find something that I can eat. So this is going to be my meal two of the day. I have two of these little Carb Master tortillas. They're three net carbs each. 
Inside, there is some homemade salsa, some pulled pork, some shredded cheese and some sour cream. I got two of those because I'm a hungry gal. Then I have some green beans for my green veggies for the day. And that is my second meal. Hey y'all, so it is actually the next morning. I passed out last night and so I didn't close out the video, but this morning it's 11.30, I'm about to I just came by Hardee's, which is also called Carl's Jr. in other parts of the US. It's Carl's Jr. in Texas, but Hardee's here in Florida. I don't really understand that, but you know, I just go with it. They have really good burgers. So, I wanted to talk about how to eat low carb or keto at Carl's Jr., which is behind me, or Hardee's. Okay, just use them interchangeably. So, this is one of the restaurants where it's super easy to low carb. There are burgers and they have a specific low carb option where you say low carb it. So, they automatically will wrap the hamburger in lettuce. As you can see right here, I got a jalapeno cheeseburger and it came wrapped in this nice little lettuce wrap which is so convenient and usually I always ensure that there is not going to be ketchup that comes on the burger because ketchup is a big no-no it is loaded with sugar additionally I asked for a I think a double cheeseburger or no it's a bacon cheeseburger with lettuce this is gonna be for later but they just come so nicely, neatly wrapped, and they look pretty darn delicious in just a little box. So, if you're ever on the go and you need a place to low carb, this is the place to go. And it, the burgers are delicious, and they have the ability to just low carb it that it's like a signature item they have you say low carb it and they wrap it in lettuce which is so nice additionally i was too late for breakfast but they have this really awesome low carb breakfast bowl it's about 600 calories but it's full of like eggs and cheese and sausage and bacon and man it is so good and it's especially it's such a good option if you're on the go to grab. Keto is actually pretty easy to accomplish at fast food restaurants. You may have to ask a certain way. Eating keto on the go is always pretty simple to do. On another note, I am sipping on this Powerade zero in the strawberry flavor i've never seen this one or actually i probably have before and then there's a sale on them so i also got the lemon lime flavor as well as the grape but i'm not going to drink them all right now obviously you just can't pass up a good sale on those when you get them i hope you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel down below and I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys! Mwah.